mercy. I did it. I got 10,000 subscribers. Only took me, what, 14 years? When I first started making videos on YouTube, I made YouTube poops for years and years. And I also made a news show about YouTube poop. And that's where most people know me from. Then in 2017, I said, I'm not doing this shit no more. And in 2018, I started working man games. At first, I mostly did games that rednecks would like. In fact, my first episode was hunting games. And I had an episode before that that was like a pre-pilot episode that was fishing games. I also did stuff like NASCAR, Monster Trucks, and the Dukes of Hazard, And all those videos did basically nothing. Really, the only people that watched them were people in my my circle of friends and people left over from my YouTube poop days. At this point, I was basically doing it just to have something to do. I even dabbled in streaming for a little while, but it became very clearly obvious I was not cut out for that. For one thing, I am not very good at improv. I need to think things up before I talk about it. And my internet was just too bad. It was single digit speed and it just was not cut out for streaming. In fact, I had a video on my channel for a little while that was a long hour long stream of me playing a game called 10 star on the SNES and that video was my most downvoted video I've ever had on the channel needless to say it's gone and that was an eye-opener to me I am NOT ready to do streaming so I went back to just making shows I did reviews of very obscure indie games that only me and a couple of other people knew about and I became very close friends with the devs I still kick myself for not buying a Ricky and Vicky Atari 7800 cartridge for 60 bucks because now they're 500 but the developer of that game has told me if he makes another game that has physical copies i get first dibs then i made my max pain video probably my worst video i've ever made people made it extremely clear to me that people did not like the live action segments in my videos and thought i was extremely unfunny and now that i go back and watch the old first season stuff they're right it's kind of hard to watch because i am very not funny and it was then that i decided to hide behind a coyote sona and to be honest with you i feel a lot more comfortable as a coyote than i do as a human in front of a camera and during that time i experimented a little bit i played some mobile games i tried another redneck thing i did tiny tunes i did some itch.io games but it wouldn't be until my duke nukem video that i finally got my 15 minutes of fame and a lot of that was due to get gianni and kino fabino sharing my video around so a lot of the boomer shooter community got to see my duke nukem video and i got lots more eyes on my channel thanks to that and i figured hiring gianni was a really smart move on my part so i did it again on my captain claw video and since i was one of the only few people that even acknowledged that captain claw existed it actually did pretty good that's when i said you know i got something good there i need to do videos about games that nobody's doing videos about and there was a series of video games that i've seen some people talk about before but never made a whole entire video showcasing them and that was the army men games and i still get views and comments on that video to this day there are people that know me as the guy that reviewed the army men games but my most popular video was yet to come and for some reason the algorithm latched onto this one and it's my most popular video i've ever made as far as the working man stuff the scooby-doo video scooby-doo was a big part of my childhood and i had played a few of the games so i knew i wanted to do that video one day unfortunately since my pc wasn't very powerful i wasn't able to do the ps2 exclusive games i was able to do the xbox games because i had a modded xbox with every game on the system and i really like that video because there's a little bit of good a little bit of bad a little bit of horrible it's a roller coaster of emotions and my anger towards that minecart segment in mystery mayhem was real i hated that anyway for some reason that particular video started getting a lot more views than my other videos i looked at my analytics and apparently the algorithm was sending it to the recommended section of a bunch of other Scooby-Doo videos and people were clicking on it. If I had to guess why, it must be the thumbnail. I think that's one of the funniest thumbnails that I made myself. I just took a picture of Dante from Devil May Cry and put Scooby's head on it. It's so silly and apparently it gets attention. I might get my new art guy to redo it. Speaking of which, I noticed you guys have been saying a lot of good stuff about my thumbnails recently and, and the way my Sona looks now with the new redesign. That is my friend Kippy. He is my new art guy and he is fucking amazing. So far, he has been knocking it out of the park and I hope to keep 
working with him in the future. And the rest has been history from there. Recently, it's been kind of hit or miss whether I get any views or not, but I noticed my sub count keeps going up, so that, that somebody must be watching. I mean, here I am at 10,000 subscribers finally, so maybe we might see another growth spurt, maybe not. We'll just have to keep making videos and see where it goes. I would like to collaborate with more people. Maybe I'll get some more guests on the show or something. But anyway, that's enough complaining about numbers. I promised you guys something when I hit 10,000 subscribers and you're gonna get it. You're getting a Zelda CDI video. You're not just getting a Zelda CDI video, you're getting a CDI games video. CDI emulation has gotten so much better lately that I can actually just drag and drop a lot of CDI games into RetroArch and they'll just fucking play. I think it might be worth exploring outside the YouTube poop games to see what other garbage is on the CDI. Doesn't that sound fun? No? Well, too bad we're doing it. But I do have another video already in the works that I was working on before I hit 10k, so we're gonna do that video first. It's gonna be good. You're gonna like it, I promise. Then it's gonna be CDI, then it's gonna be Zelda CDI. That's the way we're gonna do it. And if you guys are really good, we might do more YouTube poop-related games. But yeah, man, 10,000 subscribers. Ain't that something? Really happy about that. So anyway, um, you know, my normal uploading schedule is the 15th and the 1st of every month. I've got the 1st coming up here real soon. I think I'm going to take a break uh, this time. There's not going to be a video on the 1st of May. There may be something on the 15th, though, depending on how things go. I want to take a little break for a little bit, get some ideas flowing. So uh, no video on, on the 1st, but there will be one on the 15th, and it will be the video I had planned before I hit 10K. So anyway, if you haven't done already, subscribe and hit the bell and all that shit they tell you to do on videos uh, but you really do probably need to hit that bell thing because uh, I've had a couple of people say that they didn't know that I put out any videos recently. I had one person come up to me and tell me they have missed four videos of mine that they didn't know that I uploaded. They really thought that I missed a few months of video making because YouTube didn't tell them I uploaded anything. So apparently that bell is really important somehow. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got to say. I'm sleepy for no apparent reason. Bye.